The idea for the genesis of the minions in terms of where they came from came together and we sort of worked backwards from the, the first Despicable Me to see, well, if there was a prequel, it would be cool to show the minions searching for a boss. Well, we wanted to take these really iconic characters and be able to tell where they came from. The idea was to show them going through time, longing to serve an evil master, whoever it is or whatever it is. <laughs> They really are just trying to find that one villain who's going to make them feel like they're serving their ultimate purpose. Scarlet Overkill! If I was a minion, that's who I'd want to work for! This gave a justification to the fact that their language is so international. They speak a little bit of Italian. They speak a little bit of French. What did he say? England? They speak some Indonesian. Hey, Bob! Japanese, Chinese, Moroccan. Oh. <laughs> the whole movie basically became a challenge about like how do you tell a story with three guys at the center who don't speak a language you know. Part of what is so appealing about them is even though you can't understand what they're saying, you get the intention of what they're saying, so it's it's not alienating when you hear them talking. Oh, hello, papagena. Tu le pera con la papaya. You're going to VillainCon, aren't you? VillainCon! Yeah, boo, yeah! Hey, 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 oh! Pacarino, Kashmiri! Boo, yeah! Boo, yeah!